With drug development in general, the process of finding something that makes a substantial difference in a disease is a rare event. But the rewards in terms of having that event and being able to treat people, change the cookbook of medicine, that that reward is so substantial that um, many of us are willing to continue to try, even in the face of opposing odds. And we all know that if you don't try at all, we're guaranteed to fail. All of these diseases are diseases in which the risk increases with age. When you reach 85, you have a one in two chance of Alzheimer's disease. And we, as a nation, need to solve this problem before the problem bankrupts our society. The organization was founded in 1973 by a family that realized at that time, well, maybe it's the researchers that we need to support. And so this organization was out front four decades ago when nobody was thinking about funding research as a, as a charity. We call ourselves Bright Focus because we want to end these diseases and shine a light on them. Bright Focus gives grants to uh, junior people as well as established investigators that lets you really test novel ideas without having to get a huge grant uh, from, a, for, let's say, the National Institute of Health. Bright Focus was the first you know, major funder of, of my lab. And it's been an extremely rewarding experience to be associated with this foundation. I've had the opportunity to receive support from Bright Focus and from its predecessor, the American Health Assistance Foundation, since I was in training. Without the support, I would not have been able to do those projects. Some of those projects uh, led to important findings. But they're, they're really looking for very novel and new ideas to really jumpstart science, and I think that's the difference. It, it serves a nice role in getting things going or not. I mean, maybe something won't work, that's fine, you gotta try it, but they'll let you try that. Yeah, it's too, this is a different agency. And definitely when you submit a grant there, you feel then people will review it, will understand what you're talking about. You tell yourself, hey, I can actually do this, I can cure something, I can stop someone from losing their vision. To get that aha moment, and let me tell you, it doesn't come around that often. Um, but, but when it does, it is such a great feeling. The whole motivation is about changing the trajectory of a disease and knowing that your role in that can be significant in accelerating change. Change to improve people's lives, change to bring people together that should be, and most importantly, to empower scientists who typically need to spend their time in a lab or with patients and not trying to figure out where the, where the next grant or resources are gonna come from. There are rock stars. These are the people who are in the trenches that are changing lives forever. And that's why we believe in celebrating scientists and that's why we're celebrating them. Bright Focus Foundation supports innovative research to end Alzheimer's disease, macular degeneration, and glaucoma. Bright Focus has awarded nearly $200 million to researchers worldwide. These funds have helped grantees receive numerous scientific awards, including two Nobel Prizes, 49 MetLife Foundation Awards, 34 Potemkin Prizes, among countless others. Bright Focus Foundation. Cure in mind, cure in sight.